Is that one of the ones from Mr. Jeff? It's part of it. Whoa, how big is that bag? 40 pounds? Yeah. We got chicks hatching right now, like crazy. And, uh, well, the whole purpose of running this batch in the incubator was that Jeff at Bobblehead Homestead gave us some, uh, gave us some copper moran eggs. So we decided he gave us a dozen. We threw in some others. I turned this project over to these two lovely ladies behind me, Pinky Pepper and Red Pepper. So we're gonna start back at the beginning, and then by the end of this, show you guys these little chicks, um, which we're getting ready to pop the first batch in the brooder, and we'll see uh, what happens from here, but so exciting and so cool too, just to see these girls and the way they run this stuff, because uh, they're, I don't know, what are you guys? Educated, experienced, yeah, nine and ten, but you're educated, you're experienced, you're familiar with it. Awesome. Here we go. Mmm, Jeff wanted a little bit of this action for his video, right? Yes. Okay, you be gentle with them. We need to treat them safely till they get home. How do you like his variety of chickens here? I like them, and I've always wanted some sort of black kind of chicken. Yeah. And then I, I, told, I told him I was looking for some black chicken and he said, I said, I don't know where to get them from. He said, me. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Jeff is a great source for a lot of things. And what about that variety of eggs he's got here? He's got a lot. Welcome back to Abundant Harvest Homestead. I'm Red Pepper and today we're incubating eggs. These are ours from our mixed flock. So these are the French black copper moons that Red Pepper got from um, Mr. Jeff at the Bubblehead Homestead. Where did you get those, child? Bubblehead Homestead. Wow, and this is the main reason we're running this group, right? Mm -hmm. We figured we had these we wanted to try to hatch, so we might as well put in another 36 and just fill this thing up with uh, 48 eggs, huh? Mm -hmm. And how many egg cartons is 48 eggs? Four. Four. Those are ours. All right, these are ours. So ours are gonna go on this mm -hmm. side. The blue eggs are the blue egg, or is it, some people call them Easter eggs. A 
Devin from my neighbors because so we can fill the incubator. So I'm just going to mark all the ones we got from our neighbor because he wanted to know if they were um, fertile or not. So I'm just going to mark them. And right now when they're in these positions, it's easy to tell who's who, right? Yeah, because when I put them down to hatch, they're going to be on this. And um, they'll kind of get mixed up if the chicks move them around. Right. So even though it's easy to tell what row they're in now, once we put them down to the final away. stage, yeah. Guys, I used to dream of doing things like this when I was a child, but I only got to dream. I never did it. I want you guys to be really skilled at this because this is a cool skill to have, isn't it? Yeah. It's kind of like whenever you want, you can just print your own chicken's child. <laughs> Off of paper. <laughs> So it's day seven and we're gonna candle the eggs. Day seven. Which eggs are we starting with? Day eight. Day. Well, yeah. Um, we're starting with the black copper marines. From who? Jeff from At? Bobblehead Homestead. That's right. And where did Pinkie Pepper just get back from? Bobblehead Homestead, right? She just walked in the door from Bobblehead Homestead. So we're gonna check these copper moran eggs. Let's check them out. Okay. Right. Go for it. <clears throat> Whoa, those are dark. This one's the lightest one. Lightest color or lightest weight? Lightest color. This one does have a crack right there. Okay. Mm -hmm. But I do not see Maybe. anything in this one. Okay. So oh, they still have chances to go. Sure. Please. We'll we don't. That one we don't need to. Has a crack. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we won't give up on him yet. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, and these are from his pullets, right? He wasn't yeah. sure. Ready? Right, nothing in this one. Okay. So there's the yolk, and there's there's nothing. <clears throat> I don't see anything. Oh wait. There's that black bulb, but that is not... It's wiggling too, isn't it? No, if I oh. move the egg, it wiggles. That's not what we're looking for. Okay. I don't know, because it would have mm. veins if it was actually starting. And it does not. And... This. Try one of ours Here, from I'll the far side. So we're going to see if we can find one that's actually going to... should be. Yep, look. Oh, yeah. Right. If you guys can see that. So, in that big dark spot. Yeah. And the whole reason we're even doing ours right now in the incubator is because, is, of these. is because we got those ones from Jeff. So, even if we don't get any from his, we still hopefully we'll we get still some have a side ours. effect. Mm -hmm. And we got some from my neighbors that we don't know what. Some of them are really cool. Okay. <clears throat> right. And our neighbors wanted to see if his were. Mm -mm. There's another spot in here, but. I don't know, it could it's be. It's not what we're looking for. It would be different. Maybe we have the, there's four left. Oh, oh. This is dark. It, is it, it looks like, like it has something right there. Wait, wait, stop. I need to fix my hand. I saw some of these the day that I was candling them. Yeah, I know. They're just so dark, but I don't know. I can't see anything because... Mm. Of how dark they are? Because of how dark it is, so I... Mm. We'll leave it inconclusive on that one. Try one of the neighbor's ones. I don't see anything. Just for curiosity's sake. Alright, here's one. I do not see anything. No, I don't see nothing there. So this is day eight, and we'll leave them in till about 
Um, sometimes leave them into like day 10 or day 14 and just candle them again. That one. Just to see, um. Mm. Oh, this one has, this one has a check. See? Oh. Right there. It's, it's bobbing around by itself. Whoa. Well, I guess they're pretty. What Alrighty. in the world? So, so they have. I've never seen that myself before. <laughs> Thank you guys for teaching me. So I. Alrighty, that's an empty one. So I know at least one of them is going. So that means. Oh. oh. There's the veins. It's bobbing around too. Alrighty, so so far two from them. Well, wow. Wow. When I first handled them, I didn't check them all, but um, from the ones. All right, this one's going. Look, there's a check. Yeah. And there's the Three. Veins. Um, I didn't check them all, I just like yeah. checked around quick. Alright, this one's got one. Look at that. Oh, yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. It's big. The Alrighty, neighbors will be happy to so. know that their eggs are brittle. Some of them are. Yeah. And That's that one is. Mm -hmm. right. Yeah, right there. It's somewhere. Oh, my, I a whole just saw bunch it. of those eggs. Alrighty, so we know a lot of theirs are. Well, well, we'll get with Jeff later and. Let's check these. See, I'm gonna <clears> check <throat> some of our eggs. Because we already know what one has a... Um, it's hard to tell on eggs because they have... I think I just saw a vein. Because they have like all these spots on them so it's hard to tell what ones are veins. Yeah, I think something's going on in there. But that's my I guess. So. Yeah, yeah. There is something in that one. Try one of the blue ones from ours because those are okay. like the special kind. from Jeff, right? Yeah, also. <clears throat> those are just Whoa, from chickens right. he gave us. Let me see. Uh, Boy, how does he candle those dark eggs? Um, well, not all of them are like this. It's only some. It could be bad. Might be bad. I don't know. I don't squeeze it. I mean, let me see here. That'd be the wrong way to find out if it was bad, right? I don't know. It might be bad, um, but I don't know. We'll leave it in. I'll have to see when I look at them again. But this one, ooh, that's cool. Whoa, that's that one has right something there. going. See, there's the veins. Yeah, that's an interesting pattern. I am not pattern. quite sure. It's like a star. Or yeah, sun. it's like a starburst. Where the chick is, but like, look at that. Yeah. That's yeah. like a sun. Hey, whoa, whoa. Yeah, I'm trying to. The sun. You guys can see. <laughs> so you guys can see there's like a starburst pattern on it. Almost looks like some sort of sea star. That's crazy. So, oh, I'm going to check some of our older chicken's eggs. These chickens that laid these eggs are very old. Oh. Alright, there's something in this one. I do. <laughs> so, actually, those morans might have something in them. It's just they're so dark. Yeah. It's hard to see if they even have Would a smaller chicken have a smaller embryo at a um, same stage? This one's going. So yeah. the ones and from yeah, our, look at the veins. From our pull older that one chickens still? are still good. It's lit up so. too much, I think. Here, let me put my. If you guys can make out that vein there. Yeah. yeah. Cool. But well, we'll give them a couple days and sort them then. Yeah. Yep. This one's almost white. It's one of the. Look at yeah. that. Yeah. Oh, that's a big one. Yeah. That. So you guys big. can see that dark spot at the top. And, and here's some the veins air too. space at the top. And then Very the cool. Well, congratulations, girls. We got some stuff going on. <laughs> yeah. We'll check it back in a couple days. That is a mm -hmm. big one. Yeah. Today we're going to candle and separate the eggs that have not started and then the eggs that are bad. So we like to do it on day 14, um, which would have been last night. But last night we were doing the live stream, so we're going to do it today, and it's day 15. So, um, yeah, let's get started. So, let's start with that one. All right, now. So we've got 48 in here. No, well, 40. Oh, you just took one already. Yeah. Okay. One was... Then we got like two dozen hours, a dozen of our neighbors, and a dozen of Jeff's, right? But that one has something in it. Alrighty, so this one, can I fix this? Already is that much taken up of Oh, yeah, egg. yeah, yeah. And there's veins in it, so I'm. Yeah, that's it's got veins, it smells nice. Part of up, that's one of ours, right? No, no. these are. Okay, I see that. Yeah, they're from the neighbors. Um, so no, this one has not started and it is already day 15. This thing is always a day off for some reason. Okay. It starts, it starts a new day. Um, 
at 12 o'clock, yeah. So Is that going or no? Um, I am not so sure about this thing. Like, it has this weird ring around. Right, it's half cloudy. Do you see what any kind? veins? No. Um, yeah, that looks pretty solid. What's that? I mean, there's that bump. All right, I'm going to leave this thing in here because there's that thingy yeah. in it. Okay. But I don't know, but I'm just going to leave that thing in there. And that is clearly nothing. So. Okay. And that oh, is something. Something for sure. You can see the little can... opening there. I mean, if at least nice. some of these hatch, that is going to be pretty nice. All right, so three of our eggs. I think this holds 18. Yep. Yeah. yeah. So we took out 17 eggs from 48, so that's actually pretty good. Uh, from 7, uh, 47. Yeah, so we sorry, already have 47. One out. Yeah. So it is day 19 today for these eggs, and they're going to go on lockdown. So what we're gonna do is set that one away. Alright, right, take um, it on. Why? Oh, okay. I see that. You don't need one. Um, I guess I'm just So you're taking out the rotators? Yeah. Explain I'm, it real quick. So first I unplug this thing and this is the thing. It would, this is the thing that makes this guy move to turn the eggs and it, right now it would be turning in an hour and 35 minutes but I unplugged it so it's not going to turn. Um, and then I'm going to take all the eggs out of here and put, here we are actually, yeah, I can and I'm going to pull out these egg holders. Well, today is my birthday. I I turned eight, and I have some birthday buddies, which are right here. 
How many birthday buddies do you got so far? So far, six. Six, guys. Of course, you can never really do justice. Oh, you see the one in the middle popping up, though? Yeah. Thank you for being cooperative. It's hard to see in there, little chick, so your movement helps. Oh, another one moving right. Oh, that's its butt. There's one over there on the side, one back there, the wiggly one, a couple of them across there. That is pretty cool. So, if we keep track of these chicks, we should always be able to know, there you go, when their birthday is. And why should we always be able to remember when their birthday is? Because it's my birthday. Yeah, and we're not going to forget your birthday, right? No. Hopefully. That's <laughs> And what's one thing you want to do for your birthday that we might try soon? Look for arrowheads. Yeah, head out and look for arrowheads. Have you ever found any? No. Who has? Uh, you. How many did I ever find? One. One, so we could up our game a bit, right? Yeah. Yeah, I'll have the girls tell you a little bit more about this in a bit here. So what's going on here, girls? Um, it is day 20, and our eggs are hatching. And we put them on lockdown last night. So, how many hatched? Six hatched? Yeah, six hatched. One of the eggs that hatched was our neighbor's egg. And um, that chick hatched all the way, and then um, it ended up dying, so. Yeah, the best we can tell, it's dead because it hasn't moved in a while. It's right in the middle. Is there anything special about any of these so far you like? Yes. Yeah. Um, that one, one's like a silverish kind of, uh... Um, it is a, it's a, it's yellow and then it has like a silverish lavender color on mm -hmm. that and that's... And then we have a baby Sussex. Sussex. Yeah, and it's then really we have a baby Sussex. And it's either going to be a purebred Sussex, um, or a Sussex Whiting Shoe Blue Olive Egg. <clears throat> Whoa. So. so now we get to start playing around with stuff too, huh? <laughs> yeah. What's going on in your head? Um, curling Turn around, turn around. I okay. didn't finish it though. So you get a bunch of socks tied up to curl your hair. You wet right. your hair and then you roll it up in socks and tie it. Cool. You leave it overnight. <laughs> so we'll uh, let you guys see when we get a couple of these out of here. Um, but so far we've had some success. So we'll get a brooder set up and ready. We'll maybe pull some out tomorrow or yeah. they can last three days on the egg sacks. So yeah. Yeah, and four of them are from my bard box, and they're so cute. Cool. They're like all black. Almost. Where's the eggs? Yeah, they hatched. How is that possible? Alright guys, so one of the um, black copper morons from Mr. Jeff from the Bobblehead Homestead is actually hatching. So I'm going to show you all that. It is right there. It is hard to see it because it's such a dark egg. But there it is here. I'm going to give you a better angle. Right there, it's hatching. So, yeah. You can see it moving around its little beak. The others are pecking at it, but we have a whole bunch of other little chicks in here. Um, so, yeah. I just thought I'd show y'all guys that 
So what are we doing? We're going to put them in the brooder. How many do you think there are? Uh, I think maybe? Monster Truck counted 16. Okay, and one at least came out and died, right? Yeah, so that would be number 17, but okay. 16 a lot. So who's going to lift the cover? Red Pepper is, and I'm going to grab them. Okay. So, so, so no, yeah, well, you already okay. opened it, so lift it all the way, and let her just grab. Just to... Give her opportunity to grab them in and out. Yeah, you can keep it open the whole okay. time, child. Just make sure she can get them. And any that are out but young, yeah, let them it. let them oh, go. This one should stay. Boy. Oh, that's Alright, Okay, now anytime you open an incubator when they are hatching, you run the risk of if somebody is just peeking out. But one thing that can happen is if uh, one kind of has it cracked and you open it up, they can like seal them in and make it more difficult for them to get out. So we're gonna take a peek here and see what we got. Let me see. Twelve are here. Twelve are there. Like five or something in here, something like that. Let me think one. Did you get the dead one out? No. Oh. Right. You guys, yeah, grab the dead one out quickly, and then. All right, there's four in there. We have four in there, and we have these guys. Wow, a good variety of colors. So, here is a dozen, and one thing that often helps with making sure they don't drown is to put some marbles. We don't have some marbles, so we're gonna go clean up some rocks and finish that. And then uh, these guys still got about another two days before they really need food, but we're going to put some stuff in there right away. And uh, a dozen it is so far. So right now this is 25% of all the eggs we put in turned into these chicks here. We'll see how many more come. And there's four in there, I think. There's 12 in the brooder and four in the incubator. Thankfully, one of Jeff's eggs hatched. And what do you think of the other one? Do you think it's going to go or no? No. I think it's a failed emboid. Okay. Emboid. Okay. But we do we'll got... We'll keep you guys updated. Yeah. So, and here, if you notice with the heat lamp, here's a thing too. Um, when we put the heat lamp this close, they all get to hang out in about the middle. They're not at the far side really ever. They're not underneath it ever. They're kind of right in the middle, so we'll see how the temperature temperature fluctuates throughout the day. I've got a clip down here. We can go up a level if we need to, or we can lower it too, onto there. But it seems to be pretty good. Um, if they're all as far as they can get from it, I'll definitely move it up. And as the temperature gets a little cooler at night, we'll see if more of them head there. But so far, so good. And then you guys got a gig coming up where one of the neighbors wants to see if uh, they can run 48 eggs for them and take a portion of the chicks as your payoff. That's what I got, I got the black marons or French black marons, whatever they are, from Mr. Jeff for working for him. I hope we load up the chili. That's right. You guys helped uh, load up the first row that ever went to his new homestead, and he paid you in eggs. That's yeah. a good guy, huh? Yeah. It would have been, it was easier, but um, not buying them from other people because then you'd have to use money but instead we just used work as buying them that's right trade some labor for yeah. some eggs and cut out the middleman cut out the government don't have to pay taxes on that yeah. and uh you may want to go see when he's got to move all his chickens yes if we could help with that maybe we'll see so here's those 12 guys here's that other is this the one that didn't hatch yet uh no Mm. Or is that the one that didn't hatch? That's the one that didn't hatch. The okay, so we'll see if this one hatches or not. But we'll let those guys get a little bit bigger. And the only reason we pulled these ones out first, too, is we did not want the big ones that have been up and out of the shell for like, you know, 12 hours or more trampling all the little ones that just hatched out and pecking at them and stuff like that. So we separated some out and we will see you next time. Yeah. I'm really happy about the eggs because we've never got that many hatch out of our big incubator. We never ran 48 before on the big yeah. incubator, right? Well, the time we went, we ran 24, seven of them hatched, but only four survived and three were roosters. Ouch. Yeah. But at least um, the Sussex 
hen gave us enough eggs that she has babies in there. Nice. So, as Jeff would say, take her easy, everybody. Thank you for watching. Hit the like button. Thumbs up.